welcome to Orlando. My name is Tom Rizzo. I'm here at the annual assembly of the Academy of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. I'm the former chair and a consultant in the Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, Florida. And I have the pleasure of speaking with Dr. Chris Ragnarsson. Dr. Ragnarsson is the chair of Mount Sinai uh, Department of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation in New York. He's the past president of the Association of Academic Physiatrists, and he's now the president of the Foundation of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Chris, thank you for being with us. Good to be with you, Tom. So, I think the one title I left out was that you are a physiatrist. Tell us I, a little I, bit about that job. Well, I am a physiatrist, and I have been uh, working as a physiatrist for now over 40 years, and I've been uh, very happy in that um, in that role, helping people with disability and those uh, with uh, difficult pain syndromes. And uh, but I also have, for the last 25 or more than 25 years, been the chairman of the Department of Rehabilitation Medicine at the Mount Sinai School of Medicine in New York, and uh, and the Mount Sinai Hospital. And uh, in that role, I'm responsible not only for clinical care but also for research and education of our residents and medical students and a number of other uh, individuals like allied health professionals. So Chris, remind me, tell me a little bit about your research interests. Well, my, my primary interest has always been in spinal cord injury. And I started that uh, more than 35 years ago researching what was uh, called pneumatic orthosis. And from there on, I became interested in functional electrical stimulation uh, even more so for its health benefits than actually uh, walking or using hands and so forth, even though that was also part of my interest. And, uh, and I have, uh, for, uh, basically since the 1970s, I was the uh, project director for the, uh, uh, the, the model system of care for spinal cord injury in New York City. Very good. So tell us a little bit about the foundation for physical medicine and rehabilitation. Well, the Foundation for Physical Medicine Rehabilitation is now about 10 years old. It was built actually on uh, the legacy of uh, Richard Madison, who established the Educational and Research Fund within the American Academy of Physical Medicine and Rehabilitation. Uh, the Foundation itself has been raising funds to support uh, research for young investigators uh, and occasionally for mid-career investigators now for over 10 years. And it has been... Uh, well, I would say fairly successful. At least the, uh, the portfolio has been growing and we've been able to fund uh, more uh, grants each year. The grants are not large, but, um, uh, but that's all we can afford at this time. We, uh, we are funding uh, uh, five projects this year and in the past we have also supported some other activities. Uh, there are about 1,800 physiatrists who um, uh, have been uh, supporting the foundation by annual contributions and some of them very generously. So the total portfolio now is just under two and a half million dollars. And it's the pro proceeds of our portfolio as well as the an annual contributions that uh, uh, will help us to, uh, to fund the, uh, the projects that uh, people uh, competitively apply for. Can you Share with us any of the uh, current topics or current research projects that the foundation is supporting. Well, we it's a variety of, uh, mm -hmm. of issues. Some of them have to do with uh, pain uh, or management of pain. Uh, there is a, a project on uh, on traumatic brain injury and actually the relationship between cognitive uh, skills and your uh, risk of suffering an injury. Not, not just your physical skills, but also your cognitive skills in, uh, in how you uh, actually avoid an injury. We have, uh, uh, we have actually a special grant on, uh, on a special uh, orthosis, which is actually uh, funded by a private company that um, uh, manufactures prosthetics and orthotics. Uh, they have uh, uh, provided the foundation with an annual uh, grant of uh, $10,000 to, uh, to support a young investigator. But the key thing is actually that uh, young investigators in the field of physical medicine rehabilitation need encouragement and support. Uh, the, 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 we are competing for the best minds when we are trying to attract physiatrists into research. 
It is so difficult because the, the money in clinical practice, and particularly in pain management, is so much better than uh, a researcher can expect, at least in the, uh, in the first several years. And uh, so I think uh, an encouragement that can be given by the foundation, by recognizing the work they have done, and providing them with uh, monetary support, is likely to keep them on track and, uh, and then result in benefits for all physiatrists, wherever they may be. It is my uh, uh, certainly fundamental belief that uh, uh, any medical specialty needs to be built on a, a solid scientific foundation. If you don't have proof of the effectiveness of your treatment, ultimately somebody will question why they're paying for it. So, uh, so we need to uh, recruit researchers and stimulate them and support them in order to uh, find the, uh, the scientific proof for that our interventions work. And I think that's uh, absolutely fundamental. And so I would like all physiatrists, no matter where they are, uh, make the foundation part of their annual charitable giving. And uh, because I, it's even a little self-serving because what they give into the foundation is ultimately gonna benefit them directly. And I think that's a, that's a great point. Uh, certainly the, the benefits of research extend far beyond just the researcher and, and uh, That is absolutely true. Everyone. Ultimately, we benefit the, uh, the, the, the physiatrists and the patients that they serve. Well, Chris, thank you very much for spending some time with us. Uh, you've been an inspiration to me and I know to many others in the field uh, in your efforts. And I'm, it's great to see how you're taking that in another step. It was a so. great pleasure, Tom.